probably already know about the basic ways to change the colour on your document or within your office suite, but do you know all of them? If we haven't met before, my name is Michelle, I'm a computer coach here sharing tips and tricks on your everyday software to make life that little bit easier. The basic formatting that I'm talking about is pretty much the ones that we all know, so things like changing the font colour, you can see I've got a word changed here. We've got the highlight, but you may not know that there are many different ways across all of the Office suites, so Microsoft, Google, Apple, everything, which lets you change the colour. So this green background, well actually it's using the shading colour, the shading option for a what we normally think of as a table. So as well as applying it to a table, you can apply it to the background of your text. Most of the other options in terms of colour are under the insert menu or the insert tab. Um, I've inserted a icon and you can see that when I duplicated it, it was pretty easy to change the colour. We've got our standard options of the shape. And if I go under the shape format, we've got the fill and the outline as well as some default styles. Uh, you've also got things like your word art, so you can uh, have a play around with that. All of that, when you insert it, usually puts it in and you've always got colour options. Most of the facilities available to you are on the insert tab and you can change the colour of pretty much everything from the table background, there's even some options on the picture, obviously all the shapes, the icons, not the models, smart art, charts, yes, all of that can be changed and including the word art. When was the last time that you played around with colour in your documents and files to make it slightly more interesting without losing the professional tone? Let me know in the comment below. I've included in the description box below a link to my blog which shows you all the different ways that you can change the colour throughout your productivity apps on Microsoft and Google. If you like this video and found it useful please do give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to be told as new videos become available.